Bill Hoffner is my name. I work for Industrial Controls, and we represent a number of data acquisition solutions to include paper and paperless recorders. And today we're going to discuss the benefits of the paperless recorder over the traditional circular chart and strip chart recorders. Today we're going to spotlight one of the Honeywell paperless recorders that's called the SX series model. So the three ways to log the data are using flash memory card, otherwise known as a PCMCIA card, a USB memory stick, or the most preferred method, which is automatic transfer of data over the Ethernet to a plant computer that has the Honeywell software. Without making the Ethernet connection, though, the data can be downloaded to the USB or flash memory card and then uploaded to the PC that runs the Honeywell software. There are two other advantages using the Ethernet connection. One, all users in the plant are able to see the paperless recorder by knowing its IP address. And secondly, the recorder can be configured to have alarm settings and alarm trips actually send emails to people in the plant. Either way, the log data is recorded in an encrypted format, which is good for EPA, DEP, FDA, NRC, and NADCAP regulatory agencies. Another benefit of the paperless recorder is the ability to display the data in several different formats. There are pre-built displays that the user can use in order to display the variable parameters that are taken as inputs to the system. One example is the horizontal trend in which case we're showing the trend of the process variables and down below the live digital value, the nameplate, and the engineering units, in this case degrees Fahrenheit, along with a scale and the live pens of those parameters being showed on this particular display. This may be of use for the, the process manager. Another format will just show bar graphs, visual values, and the scales. And a third possibility is just showing the live digital values. This is the one I seem to like the operators to use because they're most interested in what is the tag name, what's the live digital value, and is it in alarm or not. Many paper recorder users are accustomed to making marks, marks on their paper chart. That feature is also available in the paperless recorder by choosing the mark the chart option, in which case a QWERTY keyboard comes up and I can type in my message, whether that's maintenance, alarm acknowledgement, or something else. And once I hit the check button, that actually marks the chart. And as the chart goes forward, you actually see that message on the chart. And wherever that's replayed on the recorder, or months or years later, that's a permanent record as part of the chart. Let's take a look at how easy it is to configure a paperless recorder. By touching the menu icon, configure, set up, Edit, Analog Inputs. This is where I identify what the input types are. Thermocouple, RTD, 4 to 20, it's all universal inputs. From there, I go in and set my pens, which show how that parameter gets showed on the, the trend display on the recorder. So for example, pen 1, I put a nameplate in as clean room 2. I set the scale at 0 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and my log rate to the buffer at one minute. Now everything I'm showing you on the recorder can also be done in the Honeywell software, which can, then can be downloaded on a USB stick and uploaded to the recorder. Please contact our customer service specialists and they can assist you in choosing the best paper or paperless recorder to fit your needs.